I'm George. Just kidding. Good morning, everybody. Heading to Cars of Caffeine, taking the Z today. Oh, we got one other car. Oh, we got a couple of cars, but that's just, that's one cooler car, a green Mustang. But it is a crappy day this morning, so I didn't anticipate anybody being here, but I gotta get coffee nonetheless, so here we are. This is why we come to Caffeine on the first and third Saturdays of every month. Iced coffee is fantastic. They got, they got other stuff in there, obviously, but this is the real score. Fresh, soft, homemade cinnamon rolls made right there in their little kitchen. Oh, it's worth coming up here and sitting in the rain. I'm back at the Speed Culture Studios compound. I'm really excited to show you guys the Q50 today. As you know, I'm not a huge fan of carbon fiber, never have been. The contrast between the black and what is generally very, very gray carbon fiber, I don't really like all that much. However, I've found a solution and I think it's pretty badass and it's way better than I even expected. The wife likes it. Uh, I gotta get my daughter's reaction to it today. I told her that something was done and we'll see what she thinks of the Q50 today. But So I'm gonna get the car out in some natural lighting and uh, we'll take a look at it and then show you a little bit of the installation process. So I'm pumped. Hope you guys like it. Stick around. So I need you to come look at this. First of all, tell me if you notice and then tell me what you're thinking about it. Oh my God, no shoes. This is just ridiculous. I'm not gonna wear my slippers. Um, oh, I see it. It's right here. Oh, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about it? I think it looks really cool. Breaks it up a bit. Does break it up a little bit. This look nice. I like how it's like the same color as your wheels. Oh. And the combination with the blue. Yeah. Looks and the black. Looks sick, she said. Hey, I got a question for you. Spell Porsche for me. P-O-R-S-C-H-E. Boom! Yeah. I'm sorry guys, there was a couple other things that I was going to get done today. A couple of things I did get done, but I just got wrapped up and I didn't pick up the camera. We did a rear diff fluid change on the queue and got some other projects taken care of, but I just didn't film it. But I, let's get to the point of this video. I, I gotta show you right now. You saw my wife's reaction. You saw my daughter's reaction. A little, a little anticlimactic, but I'm really, really pumped. So let's take a look. The cheapest carbon fiber fenders for your Rage Infinity Q50. Here we go. Rain. so sick i was really hesitant i have been really hesitant to go with carbon fiber fenders just because of the, the contrast this gray is a lot darker i guess it really depends on the lighting too but a lot darker than most carbon fibers i guess in this lighting it lights up a little bit but i still i don't mind it sorry about the wind it's a really nice contrast Looks super sick with the blue calipers, I gotta say. So dope. Of course you guys know or you've guessed by this point, but this is not real carbon fiber. This is carbon fiber wrap, but I can't believe how good it looks, how realistic it looks. This, again, it's Vivid Vinyl. I don't know if I've said it. It's Vivid Vinyl, high gloss, epoxy finish. Uh, it's It's got a lot of depth, a lot of sheen to it. Uh, it adheres pretty well. It's a really thick film, so I feel like it's pretty forgiving uh, when wrapping. I've never wrapped anything before of this nature. I've done, you know, obviously trim pieces and, uh, you know, accessories and little things like that, but never a body panel and a fender with these types of lines in it and this uh, type of contour. It was sort of a, a trial by error, but it, I mean, it went pretty well and it looks damn good. See, everything is really sharp. It laid down nice, no waves, no bubbles, no nothing. But look at the depth in it. The pattern itself is really nice. It looks really textured. Um, the color variation, I don't know if I've said this in clips already or not, but the color variation resembles carbon fiber. It's like, you know, kind of its imperfections and its wavy colorness. Um, it looks really good. I I'm, I'm pumped. 
this was sort of a, a temporary thing. I didn't look to wrap these long term and actually I was only gonna wrap one, but I had enough material to get two done. So I just went for it. And uh, now I like it. And as you guys know, in a recent vlog video, I said I'm gonna hold on to this car a little bit longer. Sorry about that crazy, it's probably a squatted truck. Uh, but anyways, I said I'm gonna hold on to this car a little bit longer. I'm gonna try some things out. You guys inspired me at the last meet in Charlotte. So, you know, I wanted to test it out. Do I like carbon fiber fenders? Would I like a carbon fiber hood? I don't know, but if it looks anything like this, it's quite possible. So, I can pull this off when I want to and uh, go that carbon fiber fender route. And I said, the title of this video is the cheapest carbon fiber fenders you can get for your Q50. Well, it is true. It was $90 for enough material to do two fenders. Now it's just enough to do two fenders. I'll say that, but you can get two fenders done. All right, I gotta get going. I think I'm drawing some attention to this building site. It is Saturday, but there's people kind of roaming around. So I'm gonna bail, get out of here. No burnouts, not doing anything crazy but I had to take some pictures, had to get some clips of these carbon fiber fenders. It looks sick, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Really, really surprised actually at how nicely it turned out. I, my expectations were super low and I was hesitant to even spend 90 bucks on this vinyl. First of all, as I said, I've never wrapped anything before so I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. Number two, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of carbon fiber. So, you know, we just sent it, we went for it. You know, pretty pleased. So, uh, the rest of this video is gonna just be a few clips of the installation process, the uh, application process, I guess you'll say. Um, and then I'll have a more detailed uh, application video if you guys are interested in wrapping your carbon fiber fenders. It's not a how-to, but it's just sort of a, a follow along because uh, this was the first time I've done it, so I'm not gonna coach anyone on it. But what I did and what I've learned, you know, from watching many, many wrapping videos now up to this point just to prepare for this, uh, uh, you know, I kind of tried to apply some of those techniques that I learned, CK Raps and other people. Paradox for one, I watched a lot of his videos. Uh, pretty good instruction, pretty good tutorials. But CK Raps is a big one. I've been following his channel for like five years now. Again, this is Vivid Vinyl Carbon Fiber. It's like high gloss epoxy. Um, it, it's pretty decent to work with uh, and it feels great. And I'll put a link in the description to that film that I used. Um, it was five feet, it's, five, it's a five foot roll by six feet in uh, length. Now we got an important delivery today. Oh boy, let's take a look and see what we got here. Let's see what the quality looks like. High gloss epoxy. They say this is one of the better ones. There's pretty good depth to it. Oh, that's exciting. I'm gonna take three seven badges off. Yeah. I actually, I don't, even care what is there. I actually like a badge there, a silver badge, just to break up the black a little bit. These are big cars, so kind of hurts my feelings to take the badge off. No. Dang. I'm just gonna peel some of this off now. A little bit of goo gone or mineral spirits still come off. Almost there. I think that is good as we're gonna get it.
finished product. Ooh, I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. Fenders are, I think, almost four feet in length and just over 30 inches up and down. So like I said, that roll is just enough to do two fenders. So make sure you use it sparingly. Uh, you'd like to ideally give yourself a bunch of overlap and a little bit of wiggle room, but you can't do that with this. But let me know down below, guys, should we see some carbon fiber, real carbon fiber fenders on the Q50? And if we do, which ones do we go with? We got Jalisco's carbon fiber, of course, a longtime supporter of the channel. Fly One Motorsports, I'm not sure if there's any other options out there, but Fly One has the more black tinted fenders that I'm really into. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching more than anything, more than I can even tell you. More stuff coming for the Q50. I got to say, there's a giveaway coming up. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, so it's, a, it's perfect timing. And the thing I got in mind, I think you guys are really going to be interested in. And Super Clean, Super Clean Products has already told me that they'd be into another giveaway coming up for this spring. So I'm pumped. Good stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.